Terra Luna Classic to $1. That used to be a pipe dream. We used to think maybe that could happen. We would get real excited about it. Well, guess what? With the amount of burns coming up and with the opportunity that exists in this market, there's a real possibility that we could be looking at an absolutely parabolic run coming up very, very soon. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. We're going to check a few things out today and uh, we'll, un we'll, we'll unpack some of this for you, see, what, see where it goes. All right, first of all, Binance Square, you know Binance, you love Binance. Well, Lunk Burn set to explode, Terra Luna Classic on the verge of a new era. And this is from Trader Ron, October 9th. Uh, major milestone, 1.01 billion Lunk gone, which you know, we knew that was going to happen. We know that happens every day. In fact, that's not very much when it comes down to it. However, uh, the Lung community has burned over 76 billion token, and with increased trading volumes and the launch of a new trading pair, burns are expected to surge even higher in the coming months. And one of the reasons for that is, you know, let's be honest here, there's very little retail that's in this market, but retail is about to come back exponentially, which is going to do the same thing to the level of burns. Imagine, if you will, that about 10 times the amount of people currently out here trading come in and start trading. Well, then instead of a billion uh, trade volume, we're looking at 10 billion burn every month. Not to, not to forget some other things that are happening. Let's go check that out too. Despite some recent fluctuation, the Lunk ecosystem is witnessing a recovery fueled by its growing community and support and burn initiatives. Now, you might have people uh, in the uh, comment section down below saying, <laughs> What recovery? I don't see any recovery. It's not recovery. Why is there no recovery that I see? Well, you know, you know look, here, here's the thing. If you buy the top of something and it goes down during a bear market, then you're going to be like, <laughs> I don't know why it's going down. You keep saying it's going up, but it's not going up, it's going down. And look, it's fair enough. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, okay? At 408, I'm in profit. I'm way in profit. In fact, uh, my holdings at this point are several thousand dollars in Luna Classic, but it started off at $500 if you follow me because I didn't buy at the top. And I DCA'd my way at every given opportunity to make sure that what I've accumulated was better. And by the way, that's not buying new tokens. That's me selling Luna Classic on pumps and then buying on dumps, okay? So um, I did my stuff the right way. What's your excuse, right? Go into the chat, tell me how it's not gonna pump. Uh, but remember, it's gonna pump. <laughs> It's going to pop. All right. So uh, with increasing token burns and new partnerships, Luna Classic is on the verge of something big. The ongoing burns will continue to reduce the supply, which we know that, right? Um, but keep an eye on this. Massive burn event. More burns are expected as Binance. Now, here's the thing. Not only Binance burns, but Terraform Labs, by the end of this month, we're talking in the neighborhood of $274 billion. In fact, we're talking about 200% uh, more burns uh, than we currently have in the last two years by the end of this month. And not only that, but we're also talking about all of the wallets that Terraform Lab holds USTC in. Guys, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a massive, massive reemergence of Luna Classic in the crypto ecosystem. And let's just consider for the moment that it's kind of not dormant, but you know, not thriving in a huge way. Well, that's about to change. People who were trading it before, they're going to start looking at it again and they're going to start laying themselves in and they're going to expect a massive pump. So get involved while you still have the opportunity because that opportunity won't last forever. Now, you might be witnessing the market kind of recovering here. Uh, Cat with Hat, getting a nice, nice little pump here. Boys, a nice little pump here. Juris, kind of sideways for the day. Um, it, it lunk up just a little bit on the day. And remember, I only have 400 USTC uh, because I'm still waiting for... Look, I'm waiting for another moment for another dip, but I didn't get it today because guess what? Luna Classic, USTC, along with the rest of the more broad market, is just starting to recover very quickly. Uh, we're having a good day so far. It's early, but you know maybe this ends up being a good day. Now, as far as um, there's no proposals up, there's nothing new in uh, the, there's nothing new in the Commonwealth. So let's get straight into the overall price and where are we right now? And yes, 
<laughs> we're still inside that channel. Now we did have uh, this breakout down here for about an hour. This was about midday yesterday. You guys remember the market was really, really, really dumping hard. And guess what? It immediately got snapped back up. We even had a small correction and then a continuation of that move. Uh, looking like this one over here. So I would suspect that we're probably going to see. Now, uh, the one thing that I would be concerned about is if I look this way, then I do see kind of a downward trend. Now, from the top over here, I'm not really concerned about it because I think that that would be a breakout towards that top. But just to, just to note here that there is that kind of downward momentum. It looks like we're creating a couple of different tops. They don't line up over here. The, the good part is, if you look at it going this way, that we do have some that are lining up that really, if you kind of break this down, then you can see here that path forward to the top of this range probably coming up very, very soon. So um, I think that what we talked about here before is what's going to play out. We're going to get this move up here into three zeros 11 as our next big impulse move. Now, if that happens, then uh, fantastic, right? Uh, that's exactly what we've been looking for all this time. That's what we want to see. We want to see big moves. We want to see big predictable moves coming up down this path. Uh, as far as USTC goes, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I, I told you before that this looks like that we would have a breakout and that it would be an upside breakout. Now, I do want to tell you that when I look at USTC right now, I'm looking at it bearishly. Now, let me explain to you why. If you look at this, you'll see that it did break down below this this level, which I said, I think that level is kind of important. Now, it broke back into that range, but it got rejected off of it twice. Let me zoom in and just kind of show you here what happened. So we moved down below. We got rejected off of it twice so far. Would have to break up above 22 to, to really kind of establish a little more confidence that we're in the right trajectory. But if you look at the way the market is structuring right now, and you look at it from this context, and then you look at it from this context, then you see that we're getting that descending wedge. And descending wedge, that's not breaking to the upside. That's breaking to the downside. That means that new investors are not stepping in, and they're getting tired of waiting for price action. So that to me is a little bit bearish when I'm looking at USTC right now. But I've established with you guys before, I don't have a lot of confidence in USTC um, uh, until we see some real clarity on um, some kind of repeg that puts it all back together. So I don't, I'm not confident that that's, you know, uh, that it's going to pump. But what I want to see, what I want to, what I want to get is at the end of October, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, it's the first week of November. That's when we get the first real proposal from ceramic over this new repeg. Now, when we get that, I think that's going to cause a massive surge in price because people are going to see that as an opportunity to get it back to a dollar. Now, if his proposal proposes a $1 immediate repeg, this thing is going to take off like a rocket, okay? Nobody's gonna to wanna to miss that because if you just consider we're at two cents right now, that's a 50X for anybody holding supply and people would jump into it immediately, okay? That's a that's a big, big, bold move there. So um, you, you could see something like that happening. Um, I don't think that that's it though. I, I think that we would be talking about a repeg in my opinion. The best thing to do at this point would be to repeg it to like one penny or two pennies or something like that. Or yeah, re, re, do it uh, algorithmically to two cents. And then from there, uh, use Luna Classic. And uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I think the path forward is to repeg it to pennies un, until it surges. And then even though it surges, by the way, as it's algorithmic, and we want to establish that it's worth a specific amount that would go up over time um, algorithmically if we were to do that. Um, you know, I just realized a problem with my logic. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at Cryptonomy.Finance, you will get a random bonus of between fifty dollars and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about Cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know, I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this. Reap the rewards like I'm reaping. 
And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today. So um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Luna Classic USTC, that repeg is coming. Ceramic's going to work on it. Uh, it'll make more sense for them to do it. Otherwise, um, yeah, I, I, I just shot holes in my own theory. So let's keep moving. All right, so volume is up 17%, still down significantly, but up 17%. Market cap up 4% as well for the day USTC. Uh, volume is down 40%, but the uh, market cap is up four, almost 4% as well. Um, as I move around these ecosystem here, we got Hamster Meme out here. We got all these guys out here. Um, still looking pretty positive, uh, popular. Look at Cookie over here. Um, uh, and don't forget, uh, there's a whole bunch of burns happening but not nearly as much as what we wanted to see. It's 158 million over the last seven days. That's not a huge or optimal amount. Cat with hat though, remember we talked about this. And by the way, the cat with hat price continues to move up, 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 okay? Uh, we are now up, I wanna say about 20% from where we entered in our position. Now, I do think that over uh, um, another period of time here, you're gonna continue to see cat with hat um, supply start to go down, 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 down with their um, with the burn process going through Terra Casino. As you see that for a little while, I think it's going to cause a price surge. So I'm telling you right now, it's probably the last opportunity you have to get in right now. Again, I'm up 20% at this point, but I really think this is about a 10 to 15 to 20 X that's going to play out in short term. So uh, let's see how it goes. Might even have kind of a buy thing uh, that we set up here um, where, you know, guys, just buy some cat with hat. If you want to do that, by the way, coin hall or terraport.finance. Terraport.finance is where you go in order to do it. And look at this. Everything is up three and a half, four percent. Uh, you got Terra, by the way, up nine percent on the day. Look at that. Uh, Terra having a nice little breakout. Uh, what a good day for, for the Terra token. Uh, not the old one, the new one, terraport.finance governance token of which we have them staked and this is the only staking available is the 14 day one so um, navigate this accordingly also if you're not already you got to get hooked up with terra casino uh, the pragmatic is giving away eleven thousand dollars in daily drops evolution gaming just finished their proposal uh world poker league giving away two million euros from now until december 22nd um and you know, the, you know the cryptos that you can burn over here. So what are you waiting for? Like, guys, you should be signed up to uh, Terra Casino. All right, now guys, in closing here, uh, when you look at the burns over here, just not a good day for burns overall. You look at the long supply here, 7 million was burned so far today, uh, 39 million yesterday. We need to get that way, way, way up. We're not, you know, this is one of those low days, low, just a low volume sort of day. We're not seeing a whole lot of burn. Uh, and we don't, you don't want to see that. You, you, it's, it's fine to have, you know, quote unquote, calm before the storm but we want to see terraform labs get out here and really get going and really start to give us some hope and some inspiration what i don't want to see i don't want to see them do it all at once okay uh, i don't think that burn i don't think that builds fomo if you if you understand what i'm saying here what would be the best here would be another test burn of another you know 10 20 billion uh, uh luna classic and a few hundred million ustc just to see that boom just a big burn uh and then a couple days later another big burn people be like oh my god here we go this is something that's actually happening here you're seeing these magical burns happening and then people will start to to, to get excited and that's what i'd like to see because i'd like to see new investors come in and then they find in the ecosystem hey We've got a meme coin ecosystem that's thriving out here. We've got Juris, uh, we've got Cat with Hat, we've got Cookie, we've got Food, um, we've got Rocket. Uh, by the way, make sure you're playing Rocket Defense. Um, we've got all these different games and memes out here. There's an ecosystem, right? Uh, Dapps being built, and then we've got Tax to Gasta waiting for the final, um, the, the the final news regarding tax to gas. Strathcole has a little small team that he's working with right now uh, at Orbit Labs to get this thing up and operational and get it working. Uh, Genuine Labs. Genuine Labs has gone missing, if you will, as far as communication. But I don't know that that's a problem. I think that they're just trying to fix it. Uh, I don't think that they've abandoned. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but tax to gas is coming one way or another. When that happens, it's going to make it very easy to build in this ecosystem. Luna is going to expire in 20 days. 
So, I mean, here we are. Like, this is where um, people can easily come back to this ecosystem because there's just going to be more people here. And I think you'll see a bunch of people from Luna coming into Luna Classic. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. We'll see you again very, very soon.